You can all use some encouragement these days. Yes, indeed. Court chatting with a civility expert, Rosalinda Randall, this morning to learn more about how to encourage people without offending them. So that's the key, right? Rosalinda is here with us this morning with some great advice. Tomorrow is National Day of Encouragement. Yes, correct. But not everyone receives the encouragement the way that you intend it. No, or wants it. Yeah, yeah. Or not at that time. So mm -hmm. timing can be very important. Okay. If it, the incident just happened, they just found out they're fired, they may not want to talk to anybody. So yeah. you going in there patting on the back mm -hmm. may lead to an unpleasant situation. Yeah. So always, you know, gauge the timing. Are they surrounded by it? And the second important thing, just with all these tips, is what is your relationship to that person? Mm -hmm. Are you close? Are you distant? Or yeah. is it an opportunity for you to, oh, it's my boss. I never talked to him, but that's an opportunity for me to get in there. Right. I mean, all those things need to be considered before you start. Matter. Yes. And tailoring your words to that point is huge. Exactly what you yeah. just said. It may not be what we would want to mm -hmm. hear. Mm -hmm. What would that person be comfortable with? Do they, pray, you know, you're very prayerful and you know that they're not. It's a close coworker and you sit there and you start, you know, bringing up the rosary and no disrespect meant at all, sure. everybody. But, you know, that would not be something that you should consider. Maybe that's what you would want for yourself. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's just an example. Now, sometimes it's not what you say. Sometimes you can actually demonstrate your encouragement. Definitely. And sometimes all it takes is a smile, good morning yeah. uh, to someone or, hey, I'm going to go for a walk uh, at break time. Do you want to go? Mm -hmm. And you don't bring it up unless they do, whatever the situation is, especially if it's a, a bad situation. Because yeah. sometimes it's, uh, encouragement can be both for something that just happened, like your child goes away to college. Mm. Don't start, Rosalinda. I know, we'll try. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Thought of you. Um, oh somebody God. just broke up. Yeah. Uh, or it could be like you're going for that promotion, that kind of encouragement. Yes. You're going to start your business. Great. So two different types of encouragement mm -hmm. also. For sure. Mm -hmm. Now, there is something to be said when you don't say anything at all. Know when not to speak. Most definitely. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, say you start to say something, mm -hmm. and social cues are very mm -hmm. important that mm -hmm. either we're not being taught or we don't care because we want what we want. Yeah. But if someone, you know, puts their head down or they lean back and go, man, when are you going to be done? Or they get up or they lean back and walk away, those are cues that stop talking. Yeah. They may not want it at that time. Yeah. And that goes to speak to um, noticing body language, but also yes. respecting boundaries. Oh, yes. Well, if you start um, to speak with them, or what I really meant by that is providing leads, connections. Mm -hmm. Here's okay. a headhunter, say they lost their job. Uh -huh. um, start saying to them, oh, here's my therapist, sending emails and leaving brochures on church or therapists for them. Those are boundaries that you really should watch. Maybe they're not interested in that. Mm -hmm. And if they decline, then you just leave it alone. Okay. And I also want to, you, you said avoid discussing circumstances, but you also say avoid comparison. Yes. And they kind of go hand in hand. Yeah. yeah someone, something happens that you went through a breakup. My cousin went through a breakup and let mm -hmm. me tell you about that mm -hmm. okay the breakup that is the common ground yeah. but are they the same age was no. the relationship just as long mm -hmm. were there things that were going wrong or you know somebody who lost their job oh you don't deserve this company anyway how do you know right you'll find something soon how do you know right so there's a lot of things that we do and, and it comes from a good place absolutely but you know we want to just try and gauge that person and sometimes a stranger <sighs> this happened just recently yeah. we were talking and the you know, it, it, the conversation just came up and certain words that you might hear from a stranger because they're not vested emotionally. Mm -hmm. There's no trying to get, there, there's no agenda. There's no agenda. They yeah. might just say something that you needed to hear that time. In that moment, and in that space. simple, yeah. simple. Keep yeah. it simple. Your words of encouragement as well. I love this. Rosalinda Randall is our civility expert. She is the, also the author of Don't Burp in the Boardroom. <laughs> We're going to link all the details so you can contact her and uh, find her books as well on our website. GoodDaySacramento.com under show info and today's date. Always a pleasure. Yeah, thank all you. Right.